So Tim Zhu is now fighting Keith Thurman. A garbage fight. Garbage. And I'm saying it's garbage because Tim Zhu is a junior middleweight. Keith Thurman has never fought at the junior middleweight division. Keith Thurman hasn't fought in how many years? Almost two years. And he's getting an opportunity to fight the undefeated prime Tim Zhu for his belt. That's why it's a garbage fight. On paper, it's a garbage fight. It may not turn out to be a garbage fight, but on paper, it is a garbage fight. With this particular fight, the anti-black boxing fan is not blaming the fighter this time. He's actually blaming the PBC. The reason why I'm pointing this out is to show you the double standard. Whenever a black PBC fighter is moving in a, in a direction that the anti-black boxing fan doesn't agree with, he puts all the blame on the black PBC fighter. Yes, he does bash the PBC, but whenever it's, it's a black PBC fighter, he let it be known that he's bashing or putting all the blame on that particular black PBC fighter. But with Tim Zhu, he relieves Tim Zhu from all the criticism by not criticizing Tim Zhu for fighting Keith Thurman. He puts all the blame on the PBC by bashing the PBC for the fight between Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman. That's the double standard that I'm talking about. If Tim Zhu was Jermel Charlo fighting Keith Thurman, the anti-black boxing fan would have criticized Jermel Charlo and the PBC at the same time. You see, he didn't do that with Tim Zhu. He left Tim Zhu out and put all the criticism on the PBC for the fight between Tim Zhu and Keith one time Thurman. I thought that Tim Zhu was supposed to fight Erickson Lubin. That was the fight that I was looking forward to. You see, the anti-black boxing fan can care less about Erickson Lubin. And I know you guys are going to talk about Erickson Lubin having two losses. But, you know, when you fight the best fighters consistently, you're going to wind up losing a fight. You know, not everybody's Floyd Mayweather. Erickson Lubin fought Jamel Charlo and he fought Sebastian Fendor. You know, those those two guys are were considered the, the top fighters at the junior middleweight division. And Erickson Lubin, Erickson Lubin faced them both. And then he fought Jesus Ramos, a guy that was on the come up, a very big junior middleweight. You see, the anti-black boxing fan was actually hoping that Jesus Ramos were to have knocked out Erickson Lubin. He was actually, you know, predicting that uh, Jesus Ramos was going to knock out Erickson Lubin. He didn't give Erickson Lubin any, any respects at all for beating Jesus Ramos. He actually cried about Jesus Ramos being robbed. Right. And so with Tim Zhu fighting Keith Thurman, it takes away Erickson Lubin as an opportunity to fight for a world title. If anything, Erickson Lubin is more deserving than anyone at the welterweight division and even at the junior middleweight division to fight for a world title. But see, the anti-black boxing fans don't push for guys like Erickson Lubin to get their opportunity because he's black. He's black. And Erickson Lubin, he's not really supported like that by, you know, the black boxing community. Well, I support him, but he doesn't really have that large following that guys like Deontay Wilder, Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, Javante Davis, Devin Haney does, right? And so there's no, there's no reason for Erickson Lubin to have all this hatred. Any black fighter that the black boxing fan base decides to support, that fighter tends to get hate from the anti-black boxing fan. And so... With Erickson Lubin, you know, again, he doesn't really have that large following. So I don't understand why he's is receiving all the hate from the anti-black boxing fans. 